The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. My name is Kristen Lynch and I'm joined by Dan Riley and Patrick Holland. Our celebrant is the very Reverend Greg Sakowitz and our congregation is from St. Mary of the Woods. Good morning. Good morning. Our Advent season has begun, a time of waiting and preparation. We begin as God's family in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our God is loving, compassionate, and always forgiving. We are sinners, so we take a moment of silence and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And together, let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, we may be worthily to possess the heavenly kingdom, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced, the day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy. 
but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. And Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field. One will be taken, one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken, one will be left. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you must also be prepared for an hour you do not expect. The Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone who needs to be prayed over, please come forward to the front of the altar the preacher says. So Johnny gets in line, and when it's his turn, the preacher asks, Johnny, what do you want me to pray for you about? And Johnny replies, Preacher, I need to have you pray for my hearing. The preacher then puts one finger in Johnny's ear, the other hand on his head, and he prays and prays and prays over Johnny, and prays and prays, he plays, prays a blue streak for Johnny. And after about 10 minutes, the preacher removes his hands, stands back and asks, Johnny, how is your hearing now? And Johnny says, preacher, I don't know. My hearing isn't until next Wednesday. <laughs> I like that one, you know? <laughs> you know, the preacher missed the entire point. At the same time, I've always enjoyed placing my hand upon the head of a child too young to receive Holy Communion brought up by mom or dad. The small child is either carried up or walks up next to a parent on their own. I always place my right hand on the top of the child's head for a blessing. Many years ago, as a young priest at the Church of the Holy Spirit in Schomburg, I would do the same thing. Every child coming up put my right hand on their head for a blessing. So one day, a little six-year-old boy leaving church asked his mother, he says, Mom, how come I go up with you every time for Holy Communion? Why does Father Greg measure me? <laughs> In my mind, I'm giving the child a blessing. In his mind, I'm measuring him like a ride at Great America, too small for the ride. But how do I and how do all of us measure Advent's real meaning without missing Advent's purpose? Despite our busyness these four weeks of the Advent season, Advent puts speed bumps along our December path for a reason. Why? Because Advent is a wonderful Christian measuring stick. The Advent season calls and seeks us to be our very best 
and bring us to a deeper understanding of Christmas's real meaning, beyond the hectic pace of gifts to be bought and cards that have to be mailed. But how many times do I miss blessings because they're not packaged the way they thought? How many times in life do I miss blessings because they are not packaged as I thought or expected? Today we start the holy season of Advent, a time of waiting, preparation, and joyful anticipation. Be watchful, be alert, and take time this Advent because people don't care how much you know, but they want to know how much you care. And together as God's family, our profession of faith, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, faith, and joy, we bring the Lord our needs, our prayers, our very lives. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For members of the clergy, as they continue to spread the gospel throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people who have battled addictions throughout their lives, may they have the strength to overcome these addictions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless the boys and girls of Mercy Home and the good benefactors who ensure that they have all they rightfully deserve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people living in poverty, may they find the opportunities through the support and compassion of others to improve their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask for in faith, may you obtain without fail through Christ our Lord. And stand and pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, 
the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his children. Amen. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gather from among your many gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we hope to dare. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we glorify your wonders as we then together sing. <laughs> indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with the bishops, clergy, religious brothers and sisters, and all who serve in your faith communities. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence, faith, and joy in this Advent start of the season, as God's family we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And Let us share the Lord's peace and joy with those around us. If you're praying this liturgy alone, from all of us here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, to each and every one of you, God's blessings, peace, and the Lord's joy. On you stay. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On you stay, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On you stay. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of you at home, please turn to page six in your Sunday Mass Guide and join in singing our communion hymn, This Is My Body. This is my body given for your freedom. This is my blood which was shed for all my people. Take all and eat till the day of my return. On your journey to the kingdom, you will find the strength you need at this table of remembrance of my rising from the dead. This is my body given for your freedom. This is my blood which was shed for all my people. Take all and eat till the day of my return. Come to me, all you who labor, come and I will give you rest. Join your family at my banquet, food and drink are all the best. This is my body given for your freedom. This is my blood which was shed for all
together we stand and pray for the children of Mercy Home. Our Lady of Mercy, we pray that you will guide, protect, and bless all boys and girls who this day have a home called Mercy. May they find the Father's mercy as you offer them our hearts, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. May they see God's mercy in action through our love, prayers, and sacrifices. And together, let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of us forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Our Advent season has begun. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Friends, wasn't that a wonderful Mass? And to have the opportunity to pray together. The TV Mass provides us an opportunity to pray for each other. You pray for our wonderful mission here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. You pray for the young people entrusted to our care. And in this prayer partnership, the children and I pray for you. As we gather to celebrate Eucharist, a word that means gratitude and thanksgiving. Please know how grateful I am to each and every one of you. If you'd like to know more information about Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, please go to our website, mercyhome.org. If you'd like a TV mass guide, please call us at the phone number listed here on the screen or email us or call me at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. God bless you, and let's keep praying for one another. The People's Mass Book is provided by the J.S. Pollock Company. Flowers provided by Anton's Greenhouse, Evanston and Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin.